hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is the part 13 of our laravel for beginners tutorial and in this video we're going to discuss or we're going to talk about how to enable editing and deleting of information or deleting of our data coming from our database so in the previous video we have worked with our post or our blog right so we can now have or we can now see all the posts coming from our database and of course we can also go into details by clicking the specific post in this particular page so there you go we have here the post 3 and of course we have post 2 with all the details and now let's try to add the edit functionality and also the delete functionality of this particular post so if there are several posts here on this particular page so we have an option to edit or even delete that particular post so in order for us to do that we need to go to our code editor and try to modify our show um, page so as you can see we have the resources the views and of course the page and we also have here the files for our post so we have here the show that laid that PHP and in here we need to add a link so right after the uh, written on information so we need to add a link for our edit so let's just try to add first an HR element to have a separation of these two elements there are small and of course the link that we're going to add so this link should uh, redirect to post and then the id of our post and of course the edit and then uh, it should say edit and it should have a class btn and btn default so if you try to save this and go back to our browser and refresh so we now have the edit link here and in, if you try to click on this one we are being redirected to this page uh, pk project that loc slash post and then slash one and then edit so now let's go back to our code editor and try to modify our post controller so up and then http controllers and of course our post controller so we have here the store function and of course we have also the show before or from the previous video we have worked with uh, show and then we're just getting the post so we're just going to do that also for our edit function and also we can just copy this line and just modify instead of uh, saying show it should have the edit keyword and of course we're also passing the post variable to our um, edit page so let's go back to our resources and then post we need to create a new file here to say edit blade.php okay and we're going to copy the uh, markup from create blade.php because um, i think they're almost the same so in this page we are creating a post and of course in this page we're um, editing the particular post so instead of saying create a post it should be edit post and of course in here is we need to say instead of empty we need to say post and of course the title of our post the same with the body of our post so post and then body of the post 
And since we're editing a particular post, we need to include or submit also the post ID. So instead of just passing the post controller at store, so we need to make it an array to pass also the ID of our post. So that's uh, post ID. There you go. And as you can see, we have here the post method. But if you try to view our route list by opening our terminal, so let's try to view first our list. So that's PHP artisan and then route list. So we have here all the route for our project and as you can see we have here the update right so post and then of course the ID of our post and as you can see the method for this particular route is uh, put or patch but we can't directly say here put so we need to have some kind of uh, mechanism to enable to um, say put so in here we need to pass in some hidden field so form and then hidden and of course the underscore method keyword so this is somewhat like a bypass because we cannot directly go here and say put so instead it, it should be post here and then here we can say uh, the method should be put for our update uh, route so save this and then I'm just going to close that terminal and let's go back to our post controller and try to update our update function here so in here in our update function we could just copy the logic coming from our store function so we can copy all these lines and paste it here there you go and we, we just need to change uh, the post um, because we're not doing or we're not, we're not creating a new post we're editing the post so what we need here is to find the particular post fine and then passing in the ID of the post and of course instead of saying post updated or post created it should be post updated so there you go uh, save our post controller that PHP and let's go back to our browser and in here refresh so we have here the edit post page so let's try to go back to our blog first and then try to see post2 and then this is the post2 and then if you try to click on edit we can see that the title is post2 and we can just edit the body here so this is the second post body and this is updated by a certain user just to make sure just to show that we have updated this particular post so submit so we're getting this exception so the put method is not supported for this route so I think we need to change um, something here so oh there you go so instead of using store it should be update here so save that and let's go back to our page so blog and then post to and then edit this is the second post body and this is updated and then submit so there you go post updated and then if you try to go see the post to we can now see that the post has been updated so now let's add the delete function just like what we have in our edit function or edit uh, form we need to submit 
also the post ID for our delete function and also specify the post method. So in, a, in, in that manner, we need to also make our delete function as a form. So we need to add a, for, uh, a form here instead of just a pure link. So that's um, form form and then open and the action of our form that will be post controller and then add destroy because we're using this for particular function to delete our post and then of course the ID of our post post ID specify the post ID and then for this we need to specify the method here so method and of course this should be post and we need to add a class here for our form so class pull right because we want this to float right side of our edit link so pull right and then we're going to close this one close our form and in here we need to add two things the method or the spoofing method that we have uh, the same like for our edit so we need to add hidden field so underscore method and of course the keyword delete and of course here we also need to add the submit so form and then submit open and close and then delete this is our submit button so delete and we need to add a class here for our um, button so that's btn and then btn danger so let's try this refresh so we're getting syntax error and expected uh, period so let's go back to our editor and identify the oh there you go so post it should be the post ID so save let's go back to our page uh, post 3 so it says undefined class constant close so I think we also missed that instead of close so it should have the open and close parentheses so let's go back to our page post 3 and then delete so now we are being redirected to the destroy function of our post controller. So let's go to that function. So destroy. And in here we just need to find the post. Just like what we have in our update and show. So find the post and then of course we need to delete the post. By using that function and then we need to redirect to our post page so that's um, post post and of course we need to pass in a message so that's uh, success and then the post remove so save that and then refresh or maybe we, it's better to go to our post first so blog and then post 3 and then press the delete 
So as you can see, we have removed the post number three and we have the message here, post removed. So we have successfully created our create, read, update, and delete. And in the next video, we're going to talk about or we're going to discuss about user authentication. So thanks and see you in the next video.